people in relationship how much love do you feel for your spouse right now? I don't know now. what you've committed or the things you used to do on the side within close You don't have to tell somebody you have it. The person sees it in you. Jesus, baby. I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the world is pretty cold. You might need a sweater too. I'm a hey fam. How is everyone doing today? If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Victoria and Zelibay. And if you are my returning subscriber, it's so good to have you here again. Jesus baby for me, it's just like saying small girl, big God. And I know that is a thing in Nigeria because there was this time on the internet, it was trending small girl, big God, small girl, big God. I could resonate so well with that small girl, big God because our God is a very big God. And just like that, Jesus baby, is something I call myself because I know there are things that we need to be reminded. So the first thing I want to talk about is faith. Now, if you don't know the story of Jonah, then go read Jonah. Whenever you're faced with a hard situation or hard decision and you say, Holy Spirit, lead me, God, lead me, I'm going to do this, be there for me. Faith is knowing that you've prayed for something and preparing towards it, not knowing how it's going to go or where it's going to go to. That is what faith is. Your faith is supposed to be in Jesus. It is literally believing that Jesus is indeed the Son of God. That's where your faith should be in. Your faith is not in your prayers. It is not on having that car tomorrow, having that tomorrow. I said this channel wasn't really going to be about preaching. But you know, when you talk about these things, I just have to show emotions because it is something I feel in the moment. There are testimonies I have alone from believing in Jesus and knowing what he can do. He's somebody that had so much faith that walked on water. And that's what our life should be like. And you know, from faith, I want to go to mercy. An Oxford dictionary says, mercy is compassion or forgiveness, okay? Shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. So when you think about mercy, you think about mercy can only be shown to you if you are in a disadvantage. Like if the other person, the other party is able to harm you. So you're under that person's mess. What Jesus mentioned or kept talking about to us in the gospel is that don't look to the past. Listen, if you're looking to the past, then you are not ready to follow God. Then you don't even understand who God is and what he can do and what he has promised us. You looking to the past is only distracting yourself from what you can achieve. But you looking to the future, chasing after God and seeking him, you can achieve a lot. God is not looking for, because God looks to the heart, he's not looking for people that will use excuses of what happened in the past to not move forward. No, he looks to the heart. He knows your soul. He knows from your brokenness that you are ready to move to the next phase, knowing that you will not come back to that mistake. And even if you do come back to that mistake, he still has mercy. That is what mercy is. That God looks to the heart. He looks at your intention. So whatever it is that intent is, only God knows. From mercy, it speaks of grace. And I want to also go ahead and Google what the dictionary says about grace. To do honor or credit to someone or something by one's presence. I like this definition because it shows that with God's presence, he honors us conscious goodwill grace is undeserving we don't deserve god's goodwill because we are sinners you know grace is also an act of compassion forgiveness it says here that it is understood by christians to be spontaneous gift from god to people imagine something very spontaneous something that you cannot you don't plan for but is already there and is sufficient generous free and totally unexpected and undeserved it takes the form of divine favor love clemency and a share in divine life of god it is an attribute of god that is most manifest in the salvation of sinners imagine what you can achieve knowing that god's grace is eternal we only have all these three things because of the most important which is love his own love is sacrificial his only son came and died for us. What kind of sacrificial love have you performed? I'm not talking about money that you don't need. Do you know what it is to die for someone? Do you think Jesus too did not enjoy the earth? But he died for us. That kind of love. People in relationship. How much love do you feel for your spouse right now? Imagine that love multiplied by more than one million. That is God's love for us. 
love that he will be with us love that if we are about to fall he will guide us nothing will happen to us love that you are able to fly on the sky get to your destination and nothing happens to you yes there's, there's technology and all but who made that possible and why did he make it possible even as we are sinners and he still loves us with everything we might have done i don't know what you've committed or the things you used to do on this side within closed doors even though he knows because he sees everything his love speaks for you and that's the kind of love he has asked us to show to one another forgive have mercy on somebody god has this thing and he created us in his image and likeness so we should be able we have these characters too so today let's show mercy to somebody I was doing Bible study the other day and do you know that faith is realized? Faith is not something you tell somebody you have. Somebody, like it shows that you have faith. When somebody sees you and they see your, how you're able to, your passion for something, how you believe so much that this thing is going to happen, they see that faith, it is realized. You, you, can, you don't have to tell somebody you have faith. The person sees it in you. That's how much faith is. Just like the person sees the joy in you. When somebody walks towards the person asks you why are you smiling because that person sees the joy in you as well too let's remind ourselves of these four things the bible tells us that three most important things are faith hope and that's one of the things i haven't spoken about what is in here with faith there's hope that something is going to happen that's why i didn't do really do hope so the bible tells us that there are three most important things we should remember in this life faith love hope but the most important is love because all these other things comes from love just like jesus loved us so much that we are the only the only beings he created in his image and likeness so the angels are not even in his image and likeness it is just us human beings so you can imagine how much he loved us is 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 amazing enough that he chose to create us in his, create us in his own image and likeness with our sins and everything that we're doing, he still said, I'm going to show mercy to these people. I'm going to show my grace that is undeserving and send my son to die for them so that they know that. I, I, I don't really want to preach too much because this is already more than this. But yeah, I'm going to talk about this another time in my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate and love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to your girl channel give me a thumbs up and tell me what you like to see on my channel i like suggestions so leave that down below and thank you so much for watching until next time bye